What's going on everybody? My name is Carletta Elston and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you nine signs that you are a healer. Now, a healer is someone who has a gift, the natural ability to purify energy, to uplift, and to induce healing. Healers are people that are naturally able to tune into their heart space, to tune into their energy, to transmute energy and provide healing. And many of us have this capability to heal others. You know, it's just that over time we have been disassociated with these gifts and these abilities. But there are several signs that let us know that we can provide healing for others. And in this video, I'm going to be covering some of those today. So the first sign is that you are a empath. So you feel things on a heightened level. You are naturally empathetic, compassionate, and nurturing towards others. Empaths tend to be healers. You know, people that are able to pick up on feelings and, you know, moods and, you know, sense other people's energy are those that are able to heal because you have to be able to, you know, recognize what needs healing and who needs healing. So if you are someone that is an empath, you know, you go into rooms and you can sense the energy, you can sense, you know, um, that something is wrong with others, you know, you can just pick up on energy. You are, in fact, a healer. Now, the second sign is that you attract a lot of people who need healing. People from all different walks of life come to you and confide in you about what's going on in their life. You know, they may be going through some hard times, some struggles, you know, some trying situations, you know, but all throughout your life, you have attracted, you know, many different people in need of some type of healing. If this has happened to you, chances are very high that you are, in fact, a healer. The universe is letting you know that you have the ability to help others. You have the ability to heal. Now, the third sign is that, you know, oftentimes people sense things in us or see things about us, you know, we may not quite see in ourselves. So another sign is, you know, that people tell you you have a gift. You know, you may have heard this several times throughout your life. You know, people coming to you, referencing towards your aura, referencing your spirit, your soul, you know, and specifically saying that you have a gift. Chances are you are a healer. This ultimately tells you that you have the energy, the ability to heal. You know, your energy provides a sense of healing. Just your presence, being there around others, provokes healing in them, provides healing for them. So if you've uh, attracted people that have told you this throughout your life, you know, that you have a gift, you know, they're talking about your aura, your spirit, etc., etc., chances are you are a healer. Now, the fourth sign is you have the desire to want to help or give back to others, to help and heal others. Maybe you're in the medical field. Maybe you're a counselor. Maybe you have aspirations to be a counselor or a psychologist or a therapist. Maybe you're a mentor or you want to be a Reiki specialist, a herbalist, a singer, a artist, a light worker of some sort. You know, these are all different expressions of healing. There are different sorts of healing. You know, a person that is able to share their gift with the world of, of their voice and sing provides healing for others. A person that's able to share, you know, their gift of, you know, um, teaching provides healing for others. There are several different ways that we heal others simply by sharing our gifts. So if you find that you are attracted to these type of things, um, simply to help and heal the world, chances are you are a healer. Now the fifth sign is 
You've been through a lot in your life. You've been through all different types of traumas, you know, issues throughout your lifetime. You know, we all have experienced a level of trauma in our life, you know. But when you reflect in your life on your journey, you've just gone through a lot in your lifetime, you know, chances are you are a healer. You know, people that provide healing are those that have been through things themselves as well. You know, it's to, you know, have a testimony. It's to, you know, be able to share your experience with someone else and help them through their situation. So if you find that you have been through a lot of traumas, been through a lot of, you know, um, situations, a lot of hardships, know that it's definitely for a bigger purpose. Know that it's definitely for a bigger plan. You are, in fact, a healer. Now, the sixth sign is that you have often been put in a position to take care of others, to lead, or you know, you have been assigned a role of some type of responsibility for others. You know, if you find that throughout your lifetime, you know, you've been in a, you've been put in a position where you are responsible for others, you know, you have been assigned that role to lead, to, you know, guide, to take care of others in some type of way. Chances are you are a healer. Now, the seventh sign is that you have healed yourself. You know, you have been in accidents or you've had injuries or of some sort that you have, in fact, healed yourself. You know, that's a sign that you are a healer. You know, we have to heal ourselves before we can provide healing for others. You know, we have to make sure that we are aligned and that we are taking care of ourselves. We are our best selves so that we can, you know, Give our, give our gifts to the world and share our gift of healing. So if you, in fact, are able to heal yourself, you know, you find that you have come out of these situations um, on the other side better and stronger, you know, and healed, you are, in fact, a healer. Now, the eighth sign is that you attract other healers. You know, as they say, great minds think alike. Like attracts like. If other healers are attracted to you, that is a sign that you are a healer. You know, you find that people that are in the medical field are coming up to you. You find that um, Reiki specialists are coming up to you. You know, you find that you are just attracting all different type of people that are, in fact, healers themselves. You know, that's a sign from the universe letting you know that you have the gifts. You have the ability to help others and provide a healing of some sort as well. So if this is happening to you, you know, you're attracting healers. You are, in fact, a healer. Now, the ninth sign is that you are misunderstood. You know, oftentimes people that are unique or possess a different energy, you know, are criticized. They are shunned. They are judged or misinterpreted. If you find that throughout your life, you know, you have gone through a level of this. You know, you have been misunderstood. You've been the black sheep. You've been the outcast in some way, some shape of uh, form or another. You know, chances are you are a healer. You know, oftentimes those that walk that lonely road alone, you know, they are the hermit. They are the black sheep. They are the loner or whatever. They have, you know, always been, you know, pushed aside or whatever the case may be, bullied, you know, those are the people that have a gift. Those are the people that, you know, have something to share with the world to, you know, help the world to shift their consciousness, to help the world to evolve, to help others to heal themselves. So um, definitely, if you are one of those people that have been misunderstood throughout your life, chances are you are a healer. So here is all of the signs that I have in regards to signs that let us know we are healers. I hope that you enjoyed this video today or that it resonated with you. If in fact it did, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what your thoughts are. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content for future content like this. 
I appreciate you guys tuning in as always, and I'll see you in the next video.